In 1970, Everton were the champions of England. Under the guidance of manager Harry Catterick and inspired by the holy trinity of Alan Ball, Colin Harvey and Howard Kendall, they took advantage of Leeds United's fixture congestion and strode to the title. But if Everton fans believed that 1970 was the start of a glorious new era, they were very much mistaken. By 1973, Catterick had gone. By 1981, Billy Bingham and Gordon Lee had followed him. Neither man had had cause to open the trophy cabinet. And so it was that Chairman Philip Carter turned back to the Trinity for answers. Howard Kendall, impressing as boss of Blackburn Rovers, was thrust back into the limelight at Goodison Park. Immediately, he set about revitalising the squad, signing lower league talent in the hope that it would flourish at a higher level. Progress was... slow. In the first season, Adrian Heath and Neville Savile were plucked from Stoke and Berry respectively, and Everton finished 8th. The following season, they were joined by Peter Reid, Kevin Sheedy and Derek Mountfield, but by October, Everton had plunged to 17th. They recovered to finish 7th, but Goodison Park was restless. The 1983-84 season was very nearly Kendall's last. Trevor Stephen and Andy Gray had arrived, but the team just couldn't click. and They didn't win back-to-back games until late January. But by that point, Everton fans were voting with their feet. Only 13,659 supporters turned up on New Year's Eve to see their grim 0-0 draw with Coventry. But Carter kept faith in Kendall, and results began to improve. Another 7th place finish was delivered, but far more importantly, so was an FA Cup, secured with victory over Watford at Wembley. Kendall nearly added a League Cup too, denied only after a replay against Liverpool. The 1984-85 season opened with back-to-back defeats for Everton. It ended with the league title. Indeed, Everton were very nearly only the fifth team to ever win the double, only losing their FA Cup to Manchester United in the final. Compensation came in the form of the European Cup Winners' Cup, lifted after victory over Rapid Vienna in Rotterdam, following an epic win over Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. But Kendall would never have the opportunity to challenge for the European Cup. The Heysel disaster saw all English clubs banned from Europe for five years, with Liverpool banned for six. The following season, Everton were denied the double once again, pipped for the title on the last day of the season by Liverpool, and then beaten by the Reds at Wembley in the FA Cup Final 2. Kendall would get his own back the following season, winning the title again in 1987, but that summer, frustrated by European exile, he left to join Athletic Bilbao. Everton haven't finished in the top three since he left. Kendall would have two more spells at Goodison Park, returning in 1990 and again in 1997, but it was never the same. He died in October 2015 at the age of 69. His place in Everton legend is certain. <laughs>